What, you like smoked salmon or something? No. Yeah, I bet you do want this. What do you think you're doing? It's not part of the plan, beautiful. Know your place. This isn't kitty food. This is nice smoked salmon. Yeah, like, I love you, but not that much. no cook quick and easy great for the summertime great for breakfast lunch or dinner meals it is a smoked salmon tartine also known as toast for hey basil for this toast you really want to start with well a piece of toast something nice and crusty something with good flavor really anything will work i have sourdough i'm going to put a nice schmear of cream cheese on this guy if you wanna be extra fancy, go ahead and use creme fraiche. It's so good. But I normally have cream cheese in the refrigerator and it's a whole lot cheaper. Mmm, nope. Nope, not for you. Not for you either. You're the sneaky one. Next, we're going to add some of our smoked salmon. What I love about smoked salmon is you can get a nice like four ounce package at the store for fairly cheap. And it keeps for a while in the fridge unopened. Where you going? Where you going, buddy? You're, oh my gosh, you want this one. Come on. You just growl? So load it up with smoked salmon. You know, be, be generous. Be generous. Can't live with them, can't live without them. We have our toast, we have our cream cheese, we have our smoked salmon, now we're going to add capers. But hold up, we're not just gonna throw capers on here, right? We're going to fry them first. Super easy, we have a pan, I'm gonna put it over medium heat. We're gonna add some neutral oil, I'm using avocado oil. And then we're going to add our capers to the oil once it gets nice and hot. You want to make sure your capers are nice and dry and just beware, the oil is going to splatter at first. So just be careful. No! Let go. The capers will be ready after about two to three minutes, uh, at which point you'll go ahead and you'll drain them on a paper lined plate. What I love about frying the capers is that it makes them a lot less pungent. So they're more crispy, they're nutty, they're just really delicious. And they make for a really great garnish for most things. So you could throw this on pasta or salads or whatever and it would be really, really good. So maybe just make a big batch of them and have them hanging out in the pantry or fridge. Okay. Now we're adding one of my favorite condiments ever, quick pickled red onions. If you've seen my videos before, you know I have a how-to video on how to make these. These are so easy to put together, like no excuse, just make them. It makes the toast, they're delicious. It took me like three minutes to make, just do it. Do yourself a favor and just do it. Okay, last step is adding a ton of delicious fresh herbs. I really like to use fresh dill. Fresh dill. Uh, fresh chives are really good. Basil, really good. You can use whatever you want. Whatever you have lying around would be totally delicious. One last step, and that is just a nice drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. That's it guys, so easy and so freaking beautiful. Like, let's see if I can give you a good, good close up of that. Okay. 
I'm gonna try and cut a piece that basil didn't contaminate. Yeah, you hear that? You feel guilty? We'll never know. Hmm. I love you. I love you. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you all next Tuesday. Mine. <gasps>